Hi, I'm Savari Radhakrishnan with AWS. Today, I'm going to go over how easy it is to deploy SAP HANA on Amazon EC2 high memory instances using AWS Quick Start for SAP HANA in less than an hour. This Quick Start helps you deploy a fully functional SAP HANA system on the AWS cloud following best practices from AWS, SAP, and operating system partners like Red Hat and SUSE. Before I get started, let me give you a brief overview of EC2 high memory instances. EC2 high memory instances are available in five memory sizes, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 24 terabyte of memory. These instances are purpose-built to run large in-memory workloads like SAP HANA in the cloud. These instances are certified by SAP to run production pr deployments of SAP HANA. High memory instances are EC2 bare metal instances and allow running large in-memory databases in the same Amazon Virtual Private Cloud where your application servers and other connected business applications are running. These instances run on an eight socket server platform with Intel Xeon scalable processors and offer ENA-based enhanced networking as well as elastic storage capacity with Amazon EBS. Now, let's dive into how to use Quick Start to easily deploy SAP HANA on an Amazon EC2 high memory instance. I'm here at the EC2 console and I have already six and nine terabyte high memory instances allocated to my account as dedicated host. As you can see, they are very similar to other dedicated hosts like R5.Metal and x 132 extra large. Since I'm going to deploy my HANA on six terabyte high memory instance, I'm going to copy the dedicated host ID to use in my deployment later. Now, I'm here at the AWS Quick Start landing page and can navigate to SAP HANA Quick Start from here. We have the detailed step-by-step -step guide to help you with the deployment for single AZ and multi-AZ deployments. Before you start the deployment, ensure that you have completed the preparatory steps like subscribing to rel for sap or slash for sap operating system from AWS Marketplace. You can skip it if you're using bring your own subscription model. If you want the quick start to help with the installation of SAP HANA, make sure to download your SAP HANA software and stage them in an S3 bucket. I have already completed this preparation for this demo, so let's start the deployment. I'm here at the AWS CloudFormation console. I'm going to create a new stack for my deployment. I'm going to use the CloudFormation template to deploy SAP HANA into an existing VPC. I'm going to name my deployment for ease of tracking. First, I'm going to enter my network-related parameters like the VPC and subnet where I want to deploy my, deploy my high memory instance. Next. I'm going to provide information related to server and storage for my deployment. I have the option to choose different operating system versions here, but for this demo, I'm going to go with slash for SAP image that I have subscribed from AWS Marketplace. I have the option to specify the instance type that I want to use for my deployment, starting from 64 gigabyte to all the way up to 24 terabyte. All these instances are powered by Intel processors. For this deployment, I'm going to choose six terabyte high memory instance. I'm going to choose a key pair. Here I have a choice to choose the type of EBS storage that I want to use for SAP HANA data and log. I'm going to go with IO1 for consistent high performance here. As a best practice, I'm going to encrypt my EBS volumes. Finally, I'm going to provide information like host name, HANA system ID, system number, password, and HANA media location so that my quick start can install the SAP HANA software in my system. I'm going to skip optional parameters now and choose next to continue. Here, I can add tags to quickly track my resources. Finally, I'm going to review all my parameters and choose create stack to deploy SAP HANA on my six terabyte high memory instance. You can see that CloudFormation is now creating my resources we will check back here shortly. It's been about 45 minutes since I kicked off the stack and I can see that it is complete now. You can see the status as finished and in the resource section, I can see my instance ID, IP address and other details. Let's hop over to EC2 console to check the instance. As you can see, 
Quick Start has launched an EC2 instance with in my 6 terabyte high memory dedicated host within the VPC and subnet that I specified while launching the template. It has automatically provisioned set of Amazon EBS volumes for SAP HANA data, log, and so on. Let's log into the OS level and check few things. I'm going to SSH to my SAP HANA instance and run some simple commands to check few things. I'm going to execute lscpu command to show the CPU information. As you can see, this 6 terabyte high memory instance has eight processors powered by Intel Xeon scalable processor and provides 224 cores and 448 logical processors for my extremely large SAP HANA workloads. And free dust g command shows the amount of memory this host has. Now, let's check the storage layout. I'm going to execute few commands to check my Amazon EBS configuration. LSBLK shows all the EBS volumes that are attached to my instance, and NVMe CLI command shows additional information like volume ID, size, and so on. I'm going to execute df-h to ex check my file systems, and as you can see, Quick Start have created all the file systems that are required for my HANA deployment. Before I conclude, let me quickly switch to SIDIDM user ID to see if HANA is up and running. I'm going to execute HDB info, and you can see that HANA has been deployed and it is up and running now. You can now proceed with installing your applications like S4 HANA, BW4 HANA, or any other HANA based solutions. I'm able to deploy SAP HANA on a 6 terabyte EC2 high memory instance powered by Intel Xeon scalable processor in less than an hour. Process is same whether you want to deploy a 244 gigabyte system with R instance family or a 24 terabyte system with EC2 high memory instance. AWS provides you the unprecedented options to deploy your SAP HANA workloads in a frictionless way. Thanks for joining us. To get started with the EC2 high memory instance, visit Amazon EC2 high memory instance webpage.